everybody. Welcome to Meddling World. Today, full sea day here in Mariner of the Seas. Let's go hit some breakfast at the Windjammer. Come on in, check it out. So guys, this is the latest I think we've ever gotten out of our stateroom. It's 10.30 in the morning. Windjammer closes at 11, so we're very late for breakfast. So just gonna show you, it's still busy even a half an hour before closing, so let's find a spot and let's get some breakfast. I got some avocado toast, which we do like, we've had before. Uh, some bacon, uh, potato, like a home fry. And we got a uh, French toast, try that. Roberta just a little bit eating light this morning. Some cereal avocado toast, Jake with the eggs. Uh, eggs, chocolate chip bacon, bacon, chocolate chip pancake with cereal. And here in the wind jammer too, if you come for breakfast, uh, you have a lot of included drinks. Uh, you get coffees, you can get juice. Um, and if you watch our day one vlog, if you haven't, please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World, go back and check that out. We explain, we have a beverage package as well. We explain that they do have fresh squeezed orange juice here at the uh, bar here at the wind jammer in the morning, which is really cool. I'm gonna do a, a like a bit of tour in here one morning during this cruise when I can get up a little earlier. It's still busy in here. And it's gonna be closing in like 10 minutes. So we're gonna try our breakfast. We'll let you know what we think. So I ate the whole first plate. Roberta's gone ahead and having some of her avocado toast. Roberta, your favorite. Robert, Roberta didn't sleep great last night. That's why we're up uh, late today. Uh, I think just see some seasickness and just not feeling great. How are you feeling now? She's recovering. She's getting there, but we're tired. We were tired because I got, you know, when Roberta got up, you know, I make sure she's all right. I was getting up. Jake slept like a rock. So a little late start. Breakfast, again, was good. Roberta liked hers. Jake, I don't think he liked his eggs too much, but he devoured the uh, pancake. And now, I did want to try some of the corned beef hash, and I'll try a couple of these things. And then, there is... Guys, one thing about Royal, oh, so many things going on today on the sea day. This, if you like trivia, there is tons of trivia, uh, all kinds of things to do. So we're going to bring you on the adventure. We have a lot more to discover on this ship. I want to get way out in the front where that helicopter pad is. Check that out. Just tons of more things to do. So let's go and have some fun today. Ah, uh, yes, guys. We got me and Jake here. We're gonna be doing a little exploring here, Jake. What do you think? Yeah. Roberta was, like I was telling you guys at breakfast, she's just tired. She's like, she didn't sleep good. She's beat up, so she's like, Jake and Matt, you guys go out there, do a little exploring, come back and wake me up in like a half an hour or whatever, so. But you can see, a little hazy today, but nice. Ocean is a bit more calm today. Uh, I will say on this uh, Mariner of the Sea, it's a little bit smaller than some of the other ships we've been on. Actually, it might be the smallest ship we've ever been on in the Royal Fleet. But there's birds out here, guys, and I don't see land. They're probably living on the ship. Oh, look at that. But we're doing some exploring because there's supposedly a helicopter pad and like a, this place where you can look down into the bridge. Let's see what's up here, guys. Let's go have some fun. I think we might have actually came up at least one deck. So we were on four. Now it seems we're on five. Huh. We're just doing a little exploring, guys. This is what we like to do. This is what cruising's about, guys. If you watch our vlogs, we talk a lot about being able to bond together with your family. In this cruise, no internet. So we have six full nights out here. We only got through one night. And no internet, so we're loving it. Look at this. Huh. This is cool. Oh, I think we found it. I think that might be what we were just looking for. Let's go have a look up there. Oh, so this is really cool about this ship. This this is nice. So yeah, this is a helicopter landing pad. Look at this, guys. This is cool, man. Sorry for the wind. Jake, what do you think of it? I think it's nice. This would be this would be cool for sail away. 
just to be out here it'd probably be quiet if you're looking for a quiet spot i bet you out here would be nice to sail away but right now this breeze is great there's just a couple of people at these nice little benches you can go and sit on Inside, well, ocean view rooms pretty nice those would be nice looking straight out I have to check into those a little bit more oh and I know there's a place somewhere here where you can see down into the bridge Jake I think we got to go exploring yeah. let's head that way this is fun this is this is just kind of fun just you know hanging out and checking things I like the, just the access of the ship. I think that might be the theater in there, maybe? I'm not quite sure. I think it is, though. I don't know. I'm guessing. I know the theater's up this end. Could be. So it looks like the, the area where like, the captain controls the ship is on deck 10. So we're going to see if we can see the uh, bridge on deck 11. Yeah, if you couldn't hear because of the wind, Jake's saying again, yeah, we're going to go up. We're going to try to get off around deck 11 or 12 and see if we can find... I remember researching this ship before we came on. And guys, here's the other side of the promenade deck. So this is deck four. Ah, it's beautiful. And last night, the sunset, if you didn't see day one, beautiful sunset. But let's head up. Let's go up maybe deck 11 or 12 and we'll head, we'll head towards the forward of the ship. Really haven't explored that area. See if we can find what we're looking for. So here's 12, guys. We haven't been up here yet. Uh, on this side of the ship. We're still kind of searching around. And plus, when I get to do this, guys, this helps me. I'm going to do a full ship tour. This helps me get used to the ship. Even though this is the smallest ship we've been on, there's all these little, I'll call them nook and crannies all over the place. So it's compacted. And it's got a lot of stuff to do. It definitely does. It doesn't feel... I guess at the time, Jake, when the ship came out, it was one of the biggest in the world. So, yeah. I don't know, it just seems to kind of stop over here. Huh. Yeah, it seems that the last deck is like, deck like 13 or 12. Yeah, let's I'll go outside. We're going to head outside. Let's see if we can try to keep working our way up. All right, let's head up this way. It says there's some golf up here. This is, actually, now we're going up to deck 13. Also, guys, later today, it is Sunday. I want to go check later. Um, playmakers and see how good the football is coming in. Oh, they got golf out here. Let's go over there, Jake, and have a look. So here's the golf. It looks nice. It's in good shape. That's for sure. Oh, this ship actually was amplified, which what Royal basically calls kind of upgraded and, you know, cleaned up and added things on back in, I think it was 2018 or 19. So within the last few years. So yeah, they got these big misters here too, so you can cool off in there. And a bunch of lounges. It's pretty quiet up here actually. But we still haven't found what I'm looking for. Ah, at some point I'm gonna find it. Well, we're coming through the solarium, guys. I will say one thing. It is hot and muggy in the solarium. There's not a lot of open air going through there. And it is a sea day. So I want to show you how busy it gets out here on a pool deck, Jake. Let's walk right through. We'll go up the steps over there. Just kind of let you see how it is. So the thing is, it's a smaller ship. So a lot of times, oh, there's less people. It won't be so busy. No, that's not the case because it's proportion, right? It's not as big as a bigger ship that has more people. So I actually am finding this ship to be more crowded than any other ship. Like I said, I don't want to do a lot of comparing, but it's very crowded on the pool deck on this ship. But I think there's like an arcade and stuff over here. This gives us a chance to do a little more exploring. Let's go down that way. I think I showed this yesterday when it was closed. So let's have a quick look. This is the doghouse. This is all included in your cruise fare. You can get nice hot dogs. They have actually several ones. They have classic hot dog chicken and apple sausage, smoked Bavarian bratwurst, and Sicilian pork sausage. And they have a little bit of potato salad, some coleslaw, and all different toppings, guys, some sauerkraut, and there's all the different dogs. Oh, yeah. And they even have beverage service here. Some condiments. It's over here, Adventure Ocean. This is the uh, kids club area. Uh, Jake, why don't you tell them what, how you feel about kids' clubs, if you like them or not? What do you think? Uh, now that you're 12? 
I don't really like him. He's tried to I'd go on. just hang out and do things on the ship and go to the kids. So yeah, Jake's never really enjoyed him. But you'll notice, if you've been watching our vlogs a lot, Jake usually wears his headphones and he's starting to now kind of... Oh, and here's Adventure Ocean. Oh, okay, so that's the Aquanauts. Three to five. No entry restriction. No entry, all right. So maybe we... Uh, let's keep exploring. But Jake was never big on the kids', kids. clubs. So we're on the port side. And we did walk down here, remember it said no entrance, so we're gonna come back around and we'll try to go in right over here. <laughs> yeah, Jake was just saying Aquanauts. You used to watch Aquanauts when you were little. So yeah, you would yeah, come I in on this door here, though. so don't keep walking down where we did. So this is the three to five. Let's just explore here a little bit. I haven't been, we haven't been here yet, that's what I'm saying. Uh, haven't seen it. Oh, this is like uh, Challenges Arcade. Let's go, let's just go right in here, Jake. So they got some games right here in the front as you're walking in. All right. Sorry, I know it's a little dark here. They got strength thingy. Oh yeah, they got all the cool games. Pretty neat. This looks like it's pretty good size because I think it's gonna open up over here. Let's go around the corner and have a look. So some more games in here. Uh, I will say, outdated for sure. A lot of these games have been around a while since I can remember even when my oldest son was Jake's age. This is my favorite Shout out to Lucas, by the way, is who is now part. 26. This is my favorite part when I go into an arcade. This is going on in here. So yeah, so you can see they have a lot of games. Oh, this one, Haunted Part 2. That might be a little bit newer. I don't remember that one, but most of these other ones I do. The big bass reel and all that. Yeah. All right, so arcade, guys. Oh, let's go down this way and see what's up. So here's 68. That's the Explorers. It also kind of has the different session times on there. So it does not look like it continuously goes on a sea day anyway. Nine to noon, and then there's a break. Then there's a break at five. Okay. More games. And I think this must, let's go see what this is. This says Fuel, I think that's the Teens Club. And I think now Jake, 12 and over, I think, is Teens Club, let's go have a look. Voyager is on this side, nine to 11. But Fuel, I believe, yes, age is 12 to 17. Cool. Doesn't look like there's anybody in there. So, I don't know, Jake, are you interested in checking it out? I'll check it out. All right, let's see. So, awesome uh, crew member there, she let me know uh, so if you do have a kid that's 12, uh, it's 12 to 17, but she said when they're 12, they can still go to the other one that's 9 to 11 because of the age is so buried in there that, you know, if you're just 12, you're actually with 17 year olds too. So if your 12 year old is more comfortable, she said there's no problem going into the Voyagers because Voyagers is 9 to 11. So you, she said you can definitely be 12 and still enjoy the voyages, but if you're into gaming, Jake is into gaming, Jake. I am. You still not interested? Uh, no, not really. That's cool though. I mean, I'm, you know, hey, if we, you, if you know, as we vlog, we kind of let Jake make his choices and he has tried. If you watch some of our previous cruising vlogs, Jake has tried several times to go to the, to the clubs, the kids clubs, but he doesn't last long. He just, just doesn't get interested in it. There's some information about the kids club, so that kind of worked out good on our little tour. Maybe we'll find that peekaboo thing. Maybe I'm just imagining it. I thought I saw somewhere or read somewhere or somebody told me that there's a place where you can look into the bridge. I'll have to ask somebody. Stay tuned. A little tour around the ship and I will be releasing, as I said, a full ship tour of Mariner in the Sea and I'll, I'll release that after all these vlogs come out. Wait a minute. We found Johnny Rockets, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe the beverage package, the one I have that includes everything but alcohol, I think we could get milkshakes. I don't know if it's open yet though. Let me see the hours of operation. What's today? At sea. Noon to five. Let's see what time it is. I don't even have a clock on me, but it's gotta be near noon. Let's go grab a milkshake. So they let us in four minutes early. It's actually 11.56, but guys, good chance. Let me just show you around here in Johnny Rockets quick. 
and you'll know that the beverage package that we have, the refreshment package, or if you did have the deluxe, it does cover the milkshakes. And it's just like a regular Johnny Rockets. So you have the indoor seating. And I'm gonna tell you what, this shit's 20 years old. If this has been here for 20 years, this is in amazing good condition. It is clean in here. Also have some outdoor seating. And I think it's a cover charge, basically is what it is. You pay one price and you can order whatever you want. Uh, it's not included um, in a cru cruise fare, so there's an extra charge to eat at Johnny Rockets. So I asked Jake if he knows how this works. Let's see, Jake. I think it's like you insert a quarter and then you like flip it around to see what song you want. And then you, and then you press the consecutive buttons like runway, I would press D7 and then it would play the music. That's right, Jake, you're exactly right. right. It would actually go into a queue if there was a lot of songs in the system. It would go into a queue and then when it was your turn, your, your song would come out. This is the menu here and it's $15 and she said it's basically whatever you want. She said if your stomach can handle it, you can eat it. So 15 bucks can pick from the starters, the burgers, the sandwiches and more. And like I said, the drinks would be extra though in that 15 unless you have the drink package. Then it would be included. Thank you Trang. 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 Her name Trang. Look, she even gave us a heart on top. That is, oh that looks wonderful. Let's try it. We'll let you know if it's any good. I bet you it is. What do you think, Jake? Good. Milkshake's really great. I th I think that's it's got like it's it's got to be really uh, real ice cream because when I was trying it, it tasted really really good and it still was kind of like thick, very thick. So loved it. We got Marlin. There's Marlin right there, my friend Marlin. I asked him about the peekaboo for the bridge. He told me where to go. Let's go do it. I'm gonna show you guys. So if you come on this ship, you'll be able to find it. Okay, so what he told me is you come to deck 11 port side through the solarium, right here. Peekaboo Bridge. We'll take you on the adventure with us, Jake. Oh yes. So you cannot access from the other side. That's where we're getting confused. Through the solarium, if you're on the, we're on the port side. This is the side you need to be on as we come around the suspense, Jake. The peekaboo, let's try to find it. And well, I'll put my camera right in there. Aha, uh -huh. looks like we're gonna go down. Now this is a true adventure here on Meddling World. Father and son adventure, bringing all you along. Guys, please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Actually, and there's the gem. All right, let's go down. It's gonna be a little dark. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this is cool. This is definitely cool. I hope you guys can see in there. I hope you can see in there. Oh, it's so neat. You can see all the different, uh, the equipment. I think you guys can see in there a little bit. It's, it's really cool. So I can see, yeah, there's a guy. I don't know if that's a captain or not. But yeah, let me just put it right against the window and hopefully you guys can see in there. And right now the sun is shining straight on me but we did find it oh man look at that and they got these it's like almost like like a like an airplane they got two big seats right in the middle very cool and this gives you some of the information about it this is very unique to this ship that they let you do this because i have not seen this on any other ship i mean it, it, it definitely could be so that's what I was talking about. Almost kind of like a plane cockpit. Very cool. Very neat. All right. Now we'll go get Roberta in. When I edit this video, I'm going to be able to tell if you can see in there. If there was a bad reflection, we'll come back again. All right. So I don't think we'll be able to go that way. we got to come back this way. We're going to head down to our stateroom, guys. And we're going to keep this fun. Just sea day, adventure day, Jake. Yeah. Love it. We love cruising. So we do have the Sleeping Beauty up from her nap. How are you feeling, Roberta? Better. Just a little tired still. We try. We decided to try something different. I don't think we've ever had lunch. And uh, we've had breakfast in the main dining room, but I don't think we've ever had lunch. On sea days, they do offer lunch here in the main dining room. So I figured 
well, why don't you guys pull a seat up and join us for lunch in the main dining room? This is actually on deck three. Deck three here, so you can see how, wow, how beautiful it is in here now that there's a lot of light. Look at a beautiful staircase going up. I think they said it's kind of, is it the sound of music maybe? That it's kind of themed upon? But yeah, you can really see the nice dark woods with the white. Very elegant in here. This is a really nice main dining. All right, let's see what we get for lunch today. I so figured I'd just show you the lunch menu. So a lot of the same things, actually. The appetizers, I know you can get that iceberg wedge. Um, I know I've seen that at dinner. Um, but the a little bit lighter, but look, like last night, Jake did have the spaghetti that's on this one. So yeah, you can get some of these same things at dinner. And definitely the desserts are all offered at dinner. As a matter of fact, Roberta had that key lime pie last night, so we ordered some stuff. Let's see how it is. Now this is one of my favorite classic entrees on Royal Caribbean. I never thought I would like it until I had it for the first time. And it is amazing. It's iceberg with blue cheese and bacon. Uh, it's really good. And Roberta and I, we both got the same thing. We got the uh, soup. Potato soup. Let's dig in and see how good it is. Smoked potato soup, guys. It's good, man. It's got some garlic in there, too. Creamy garlicky. Love it. Love it. Roberta, what are you thinking of the soup? Really good. Definitely worth it. Yeah, and Jake, he's got that iceberg it's wedge. It's all right. It tastes, it kind of tastes like Big Mac sauce. <laughs> well, you like Big Mac, so it should be pretty good. I guess. So if you like Big Macs, guys, you might want to get the iceberg wedge. Jake's got the cod. He's been fishing it up yesterday and today for lunch fish. Roberta got the squash risotto. And I got some lamb pita with the pita bread. And they got some uh, some of the feta cheese and the tomatoes and some spinach and the sauce for it. Let's dig in. No good, guys. No, first, first bad meal all around. Lunch was not good. I couldn't even eat. I took one bite. It's just not, did not taste good. I did eat the salad. The salad was good, the little salad. And Roberta, same thing. I tried her risotto. It tastes like no nothing. Flavor. Yeah. It tastes like nothing. Jake didn't mind. He ate, he ate quite a bit yeah, of his fish. Yeah, it was pretty good. Jake, pretty good. Jake, Jake's, I think, was a winner but here, but. I did salt it. He did have to put some salt, so. We are gonna stick around for our dessert, but this was the first meal that we didn't like. Uh, day two, lunch, main dining. Eh, maybe it's just just what it is but uh we're gonna continue on and see what else we get what do we have here a royal chocolate cake look at that bad boy and roberta again she's doing a repeat of last night in the main dining the key lime and i got the coconut coconut uh no sugar added actually no she said this one's actually sugar free i like to try some of the no sugar added and sugar free desserts Let's try them out. I had to hurry up and turn this. Jake, stick your, stick your spoon in there. That looks like it's got some... Oh, look at that thing. Oh, that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Okay, we, we are going to do one like this. Usually, we don't, on cruises, show everything we're eating and review it while we're eating it. Jake, how is it? Good. I can taste everything. The chocolate. The chocolate shell thing. I'm not too sure what that is. It's kind of like a gel, not gel, like mousse. Huh. Uh, it's good overall. Good so dessert. yes, dessert, much, I think dessert was the best part of that whole meal. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. So we're going to head down towards Playmakers. We're over here on deck five. Yeah. Um, I think everybody's at the pool deck. That's why we're kind of avoiding it. It's so busy. You saw earlier in the vlog when I walked through the pool deck. We're not even going out there right now. There's not even a chair. So keep that in mind if you are coming. Like I said, we vlog unbiased. We show you our adventure. Earlier when Jake and I showed you, we walked through. That was around noon. Completely packed. We're going to kind of hang out here because one thing I wanted to show you, which I mentioned yesterday, is Playmakers. Today's Sunday. It's football season. Let's go see about football and look. Oh, I got to keep Roberta out of here. That's all the stuff Roberta wants. I can tell you right now. Playmakers. Oh, they got the Dolphins game. So, lots of football. Definitely. Still early. It's just a little after one anyway. Uh, I see the... So, right now, Denver and Miami on. 
So yeah, you can come down here. They had a schedule I showed yesterday in day one vlog with all the different games that were on. So this is where you want to go for your football if you're on the ship. So this is the Schooner Bar, guys. Deck four. This is actually the first place we came yesterday. Like uh, day one. Now we're really in here. You can see how coolly themed it is. This is nautical as it gets. We'll let you know how we do. Um, between the three of us, Let's see, we usually don't do well at trivia, but this is Michael Jackson trivia. I was born in the 70s. I grew up with Michael Jackson. I have some confidence in the trivia. This is what's cool about the drink package, the refreshment package. Mm. This, oh my gosh. Roberta's gonna take a sip of this and it's gonna be gone from me. All the salt on it. So look at Jake, well, he can't wait to try it. Well, he can't wait to try it. Well, there's no alcohol, so it's fine. Oh yeah, we can have this, Jake. That's delicious. Oh. That's good. Oh. That so far has been a drink of the cruise right there. I might have to turn into Pellegrinos and start getting these watermelon, non-alcohol uh, margaritas. Oh, that's good. This is a lot of fun. We're going over the answers now. We're doing all right. There's some hard ones in here though. This is starting something. We got this one right. We're doing a dance off to see the winner, man. I say blue's got it. Oh, this is great, man. It's just so fun, guys. Oh, that was cool. They both had perfect scores, so they said you're gonna do a dance off. Oh, she's still going. Oh, that was awesome. We had a lot of fun in Michael Jackson music trivia. We did not win. We did good though. What do we have here? Roberta said, Matt, there's a dog in our room. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Who's a good boy? Well, it's a pig. I don't know what you It's no, a dog. It looks like a dog. But yeah, our stateroom attendant came. We had a couple issues last night. We didn't really get into it, but that's why Roberta's so tired as well. Uh, when we went to go to sleep last night, we noticed uh, all our pillowcases had like hair all over it and stuff. Now, things like that happen. We, I worked in, actually I worked, both Roberta and I work in the service industry for many years. I actually was a manager in a hotel for a lot of years. And you know, these things happen, but you can see they came like, but it came so late, we had to wait. So we didn't get a good sleep. You know, they took care of it and we, you know, like we weren't trying to get anybody in trouble. We just wanted a clean place to sleep. So sometimes things happen. If you know, on our vlogs, we've had some issues with the room, but uh, you know, they rectified it and straightened it out. So anyway, tonight's 80s night. I'm looking forward to that. And I don't know what's next. Let's see. Kind of just wanted to show you now over here at Playmakers much busier now over down this side but one thing we found it's on a star lounge it's forward fifth deck all the way you can see here now all playmakers now popping happening these guys are actually watching on their computer too all the different games but this is a game i've been watching today new england and the jets coming down to the end let's see Third and ten, big third down for the Jets. He's gonna run for it, and he got it. That's just where I was, over this way. Star Lounge, of course. There's more trivia in here, so I'm gonna go meet Roberta and Jake in here, and I think it's something with Disney trivia. Let's check it out. Oh, it's very nice in here, man. Star Lounge, cool. Kind of a multi-purpose area. I think they do bingo in here sometimes. Different trivias. I think they do the dance party in here, the silent dance party, so that's what it looks like, guys. When it's visual, Disney visual trivia. Oh, I wonder how good they'll do at this. <laughs> this could be embarrassing if we're gonna be honest and by the end, because I'm a former Disney cast member. <laughs> Roberta, current Disney cast member. <laughs> Roberta's just like in a zone today. She's just like so chill, I love it. She just bombed out on, on the Disney trivia. It was, I, I guess if you had Disney Plus and you watched like Disney movies non-stop, it was really hard. We only got a few right out of the whole 20, so. Yeah. A bit embarrassing, I guess, but we don't watch that much. It's been a while since some of those movies, they had some really difficult ones. But we wanted to head back out to the pool deck. 
just to kind of look because now it's getting towards five o'clock so that's the first seating for dinner as you can see the solarium already a little bit less crowded as it was but we're interested because part of why we vlog is to bring you on the adventure hey guys they're living their best cruise life right there oh wow it's fogging up on us guys let me clear off the lens all right oh tonight too sunday night football is available guys if you're going to be cruising during football season sunday night football out here on a pool deck now you can see it is much more oh the pool this pool's closed the other one's still open but much less people out here so now we kind of know how to see that before i come out here later but we're on a mission jake and i are on another mission guys because you see up there above the tv screen i think that's some kind of lounge now i don't know if that's a suite lounge or crown and anchor or something but i think there's some kind of lounge up there let's go up jake another adventure let's go see if we can find out what's up there i think you can sit up there and look out i love exploring a ship guys explore with jake and i oh have some nice artwork here too okay this is 14 there is a lounge here Oh, look at this. Ellington's. Oh, this is cool. It's pretty nice. Check it out. Oh, no, Sweet Lounge is on the other side. So, yeah, anybody can come up in here. Look at a nice view of the pool deck. Beautiful view just all the way to the forward of the ship from here, huh, Jake? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Looks like they got a whole bar in here. Let's take a little look around. Over here, the starboard side, guys. Awesome. You can see a beautiful bar in here. Love the brass instruments up there. Jake, a trombone, as a matter of fact. Jake plays a trombone. Huh, Jake? Yeah. Looks like they have some entertainment in here. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. So, yeah, another really cool area of this ship. We're really learning a lot about this ship today on our sea day. All right. Time to get ready for dinner, guys. Yeah. Let's go do it. Something else, guys, too, I just noticed. That's the escape room up there. So if you're interested in the escape room, uh, actually be up on deck 15. And this is kind of the at, towards the aft of the ship, right up there. It's recently, Royal kind of seemed to be discontinuing this on some of our last cruises, the hard copy of the cruise compass. But I can see here they have ready for tomorrow, the day three. Uh, we'll be at Labadee. And it's got all the different information about Labadee, which I, I like a lot. Yeah, it's really nice. And when you open it up as well, inside here, thank you, Roberta. It's giving you all kinds of things that are going on even on the ship. Really cool. This is a lot of ship stuff here. Some of the different dinings that are going on. All the restaurants. Information here with the different venues. And then when you flip it over the back, this is basically what you would have on your phone. But instead, you can just bring this with you. And it shows you everything. So, just kind of wanted to point that out. I know before on a few of our cruises with Royal, it was hard to find these. So they're back. And this has been just something I always did like. So awesome. All right, let's go ahead to dinner. Yes, our favorite deck five guys. Tonight, the, well, they have a couple of things going on. I was mentioning earlier, they have an 80s party out here later on after dinner. But the, the dress theme of tonight is dress to impress, which I know somebody who might know. I believe that means it's formal, like dress to impress. I don't know. I do see some people really dressed up. I also see some people kind of dressed up. Again, these are only suggestions you do not have to be formal night you do not you know you can dress the way that you really enjoy it's your cruise and royal is really nice about that so wanted to give you that information also no jake we're going to dinner oh man ben and jerry's this is an extra charge guys you can see the prices there but cafe promenade roberta and jake they have Starbucks. They use Starbucks coffee. Yeah. So, 
yes, they have an official Starbucks, yeah. but you. the promenade, calf, any kind of coffee you drink, you get here, here will be made with Starbucks coffee. So, but we do have to quick stop at Starbucks. Oh yeah, Roberta wants to check something there. We'll show you guys later at some point. And by the way, tomorrow we will be in Haiti, Labadee. Um, I don't want to say it's their private island, it's their private area of Haiti because it's not completely surrounded by water. It is actually part of the country of Haiti. But um, Royal Caribbean leases that is technically what it is. So we'll be there tomorrow. But much more to do tonight. Much more to do tonight. Roberta got me a, a little surprise. I didn't even know she was going to get this. This is a double shot espresso from right there the cafe promenade here's to you guys watching today i know the vlog's been a little bit all over the place but we're showing you a little something different because jake did mention to me it's the first time i yeah. think out of any cruise we've ever gone on that we didn't really hang out at the pool deck for more than just kind of walking through goes to show you that there's a lot of things to do on this ship so salute now it's time for dinner and tonight we're on the fourth level uh, main dining so we got things straightened out unfortunately we will not be able to keep the table we had last night but from here on out we will have uh, the same servers and the same table private table which what we requested in the beginning of the cruise so they did accommodate us. They actually came to our room, knocked on the door, and oh, we got a very nice spot on the end, which I do like because this helps with vlogging. Isn't there'll be nobody behind me, which I like. And wow, look at this. I'm just gonna walk down here and show you guys a mural here real quick. This is, I mean, our unbiased opinion here on Mariner, so no comparing anything yet till the end, but Look at this. Very cool. And let's get some information. Look at that. There you have it, guys. Very cool. And just to show you, just kind of an outlook over to the entire dining room. I love that chandelier. Awesome. All right, let's head up and let's get this dinner going. So tonight, guys, they do have different uh, themed nights in the main dining room. Tonight, a taste of France. And what's really nice is they do have some chef recommendations. Uh, they will recommend an appetizer, a main, and then a dessert. One thing I wanted to show you, remember lunch? Same starter as lunch. Let's see if there's anything else repeating itself. Not really. Um, and then here's some of the main courses. Uh, I see something standing out to me is the escargot. Seafood linguine. I tried that lamb for lunch. was not good. Probably will not do that again. That beef tenderloin looks good too. I've had the chicken cordon bleu uh, several other cruises. And then here's some of the desserts. And with the desserts, guys, I do want to let you know they have gluten-free, they have, and they also have like no sugar added, uh, different things like that. And then at the bottom here, you can do upgrades. So you can do like, you can add on a lobster and things like that. Uh, I also mentioned last night, you can pick more than one. You can pick more than one starter. You can actually pick more than one main course. It is not frowned upon. They will offer to you, like, oh, do you want do you want more than one thing? So I usually do, do at least get a couple appetizers. And then uh, I usually pick one main course. But I know there's been times, right, Roberta, with you, where they've actually brought you out something else because maybe you didn't like it as much. Yes. All right, guys. Did you offer for lunch, Oops. too, when we didn't like Yeah, they did offer us at lunch. You're right. I'm sorry. I know it's critical at a lunch, but I, I got to tell you guys, when something's not good, that's what we're here to do. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's get started with dinner. Because we all got French onion soup, although I do have escargot coming out as well. But we just wanted to try it. So we're all going to try it, and we'll let you know. We, we are all liking the French onion soup. 
think it's really good. Jake, he's not, he's, I don't know if he's had it before on a cruise ship, so you can see he's, he's kind of learning. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you got that nice cheese cover and then the bread underneath with the onions, but he's doing well. And again, guys, this is part of cruising. Jake, he loves to try different things and we're so proud of him for it. And guys, I did get the escargot, so I'm gonna try that as well. Jake and I got the same thing. We got the tenderloin medium. We got it medium. There's Jake. And Roberta, what did you get tonight? The bees and uh Asparagus risotto. I think you like risotto. Yeah. And one trend I've been noticing about Roberta, especially the last couple of uh, cruise vlogs, or cruises I should say, is she's been eating a lot of vegetable dishes when she cruises. So that's pretty cool. So she gives you a good reviews of a lot of the different uh, vegetarian basically dishes that they have. Not that she is. Now, guys, she's not a vegetarian. You know that. But she does enjoy. Let's eat. Oh, my gosh. Okay, lunch might have been what lunch was. But dinner has been fantastic. Yeah, that steak was Jake, good. go ahead. What did you think, buddy? That steak was amazing. You could taste, like, uh, we got medium. So, depending on what and um, how it's cooked, it may taste different. But we could taste everything. And it is good. Yes. I don't, I don't know how to describe the taste, but it's good. Well, I could describe the taste, guys, because it was very, very tender. It was a great tenderloin. It was thinly cut. Uh, sometimes, you know, you get the thick tenderloin. This was cut thin, but oh my God, they just melted in the mouth. Um, one of the one of the top meals I've had. Uh, definitely, it's only been two days here. Probably my favorite. I thought last night was great. Tonight, even better. And kind of hit overall, just thinking, in the main dining room, it was, very, it was one of my top meals I've ever had here in the main dining rooms. Uh, out of all the ships. Roberta, what are you thinking? It's good. The risotto is better than the lunch risotto. I love, love more. But, uh, I don't think the vegetable uh, meals in here, this one, I mean, they didn't pay attention as much as the meat. Seems like the meat is a little bit better, but it's good. It's good. It's good to try new things, though. Mm -hmm. And Roberta, you forgot to mention you had this dish when it was first coming out yeah. on our last cruise. Here I am. I don't want to compare things, but that is important information. That it was a, a trial. It was a trial when dish. we were on Oasis. And it's a lot better in terms of like how now you can taste the peas, you can taste the risotto, you can taste the asparagus before it was too much peas, you know? Now you can taste everything. But again, I don't want to compare. No. But just, just some facts. It is good, but, but well, yes. The thing is, guys, when I say I don't want to compare things, it means when I'm on the ship, I'm going to show, you know, 95% of this vlog is, it's Mariners. This is what's going on in Mariners. This is what you can do. But now that we do have our fourth cruise on royal we're familiar with the ship so we can kind of just say hey this is the main dining room this is one of the better meals we've had that's all i'm trying to say and i think you guys are getting an idea of it as we go through we have much more to do this week especially tomorrow labadee that is a brand new place for us we have never been there uh our first port of call so i think after dinner oh we got dessert but after dinner I think we're gonna go hit the promenade deck because they got like some 80s jams going on and then I think there's a show actually in the theater because we haven't gotten into the theater yet so much more to go today we, we got some energy now I went with the cappuccino I can't remember if it was cheesecake chalk I think it was a cappuccino chocolate cake yeah pretty sure it's chocolate Roberta one of Roberta's favorites the uh, cream delay I don't even cream have brulee. cream brulee cream delay yeah okay and Jake, he's just going with some dark chocolate chip cookies. All right, let's eat. Oh, dessert was dessert hit the spot. No, we had a, a wonderful meal tonight. Everybody enjoyed what we got. Um, 
shout out to Ron. We like to give shout outs to some of the crew members in case you come on and you do find them. Raj, head waiter on the four, deck four. Ah, uh, he's great. He came right over with the allergy. They really like got serious with the allergy for Roberta tonight. Pre-ordered the menu for the next day. And that's what I think separates Royal from a lot of these other cruise lines. They take things serious and their crew members are amazing and professional. I think I want to go to the promenade deck. Yeah, fine. Let's go check it out. On our way, we figured we'd stop at Starbucks just to show you guys. You guys know we do a lot of Disney vlogging? These are the same tumblers you can find at Disney World. They're $50 at Disney World. Okay, we're on a cruise ship. I'm figuring, okay, they're going to be expensive. Take a look. $22.95. a cool color and they also have this cool one over here guys wanted to show you this really neat one they have these series now on the uh, Royal Caribbean of the different ships this Mariners it's got like chops grill it's got the casino it's got all kinds of cool stuff on it oh there's the escape room I think there and it's a full-service Starbucks guys anything you get at a normal Starbucks you can get it here very cool. I wish there was something going on with the ceiling today, but there's not. But definitely jamming out to the 80s tones. If you uh, if you watched our Mickey's Not So Scary vlog, I do have my 80s shirt on. Well, I mean, this is kind of an 80s style shirt, but Roberta and Jake, they're going to head down and put on their... I think they might put on their 80s t-shirts and stuff, and I think we're going to go join a party up here. What does that sound like? Good. Let's do it. This is fun. Good. Every, look at we got we got people all different eighties going on. Just hanging out. It's, I don't know exactly what this is about, but there's definitely people dressed up like the eighties, and I think it's awesome because I love I do love the eighties. So you don't need any kind of reservation to come into this theater. Uh, it's just first come, first serve. So let's go find a spot. And I'll show you around once we sit down. One thing I forgot to tell you, I wanted to tell you earlier with all the trivia that we've been playing, any venue you go to, there are always beverage servers going around, going around, going around. So you never have to wait too long. Let's take a quick look here at the theater. It looks like... Yeah, it's got the stage obviously it's got an upper upper area Get comfortable. <laughs> it was entertaining. Yeah. They were talented. 
But the comedian was a guy that was really, really awesome. He stole the show, huh? Yeah, he was funny. Yeah, As Roberta's blowing up a Pellegrino over here. No, he was great. No, he was good. And the thing is, like I was saying, there's no Broadway shows, but I kind of like these shows that are quick. They're like 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and then you can just move on. But we're moving on to calling it a day. So I just want to thank everybody for watching Meddling World today. Tomorrow we'll be at Labadee. Looking forward to getting out on that island. That's going to be a f fun vlog, guys. We're going to bring you out on Labadee. We're going to show you the beaches. We're going to go on the water. We're going to do exploring. We're going to eat some food out there. Our first port of call tomorrow. Don't forget, subscribe to Meddling World so that you'll be able to see that vlog tomorrow. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya! See ya!